Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. It is a big day. Not you down here acting like you've been ready because you haven't. Why is your binder right there? Is it supposed to be in your bag? Is it supposed to be in your purse? Like we gotta be ready to walk out this door. Why is this couch right here? This couch is supposed to be all the way over here. Look at me complaining. I'm not even supposed to be complaining because it's her birthday. Everybody say happy birthday, Yoshi. Happy birthday, Yoshi. We're getting ready to head out. The Uber is on the way. We should get there on time. I hope the airport isn't busy, which it's eight o'clock flight. So that's kind of sketch, but we're gonna pray that everyone listens. There are some rules in the airport. You are not to be on your phone unless we are sitting down at the gate. You are not to be on your phone unless we are sitting down at the gate. Until we get to the gate, the phone should not be out. Zara, you learned that the hard way. You broke your phone when you wasn't listening to me. Also, when we get to New York, there will not be any phones at breakfast, lunch, or dinner unless you're taking an aesthetic picture. This vacation is about memories and spending quality time and not being in our devices when we have our faces in front of each other, okay? Let me be your iPhone. Press my button. Oh, don't press my Whoa. buttons, actually. Don't press, don't press my buttons. All right, we should be leaving in the next five minutes and then we will see y'all at the airport and hopefully we will get through security and all that stuff without me having to strangle my child. <gasps> it's kind of a tradition, but we're gonna try to break it this trip. All right, we just got to the hotel. We checked in the room. I was gonna show the room, but everybody's hungry, more like hangry. So we're gonna eat a either across the street or somewhere around here and walk around for a little bit and then we need to be back in the room by four because we have dinner reservations at the Bad Roman at seven. Here they are now doing a little dance. Do your dance. Do your dance. Do your dance. Do your dance. I don't, Zara, when you do your dance, it don't always have to drop. It's joke. But at least, at least you'll. Oh, yeah. How do you do it? <laughs> you guys aren't even doing it like she do. She go she crazy. Like, durr, durr. <laughs> some less than satisfying food at Junior's. Go. Only one person is satis was satisfied with their meal. Only one person ate, oh no, I ate my whole salad. Cause it wasn't like the salad was bad. I've just had better, you know? There's such thing as like a air salad and a uh salad and a ooh salad, you know what I'm saying? I'm she ate all her food. Actually there was two people satisfied, her and her dad. Me and Nyla, wait no. Nyla wasn't satisfied with her first batch, but then they sent her a new one. She was satisfied. So basically what I'm trying to say is it was all hype. Like it wasn't crazy good. I'm pregnant. But Zara suffering. What? Don't even say that for, for flake. Fake fake. Um but tonight, like I said, it's supposed to be really, really good restaurant, great reviews. We're in Times Square. Our hotel is literally right there. And I believe we need to go right or left. So we need to go this way. I would go there, I would go Disney store. You've been saying this since you were a child. You are 13 now. You still want to go to the Disney store? Yes. 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 I want to go to I Heart New York. You want to go where? I Heart New York. The gift shop. Let's go this way, I guess. Come on, let's crawl. Yeah. We have time to do what we can't do today, tomorrow. Zara, you cannot be walking behind me. All right, take a picture. All right, be careful. Bye. Hey, 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 Luckily, they didn't have the one and a half ounce because the one ounce was $200. I've never had this before. I've always wanted it, but every time I go in the store, which is rare, but when I do go, they never have it. So I just be like, this is my sign from God saying that I don't need it. So I got it. I really like it though. Wanted it for a while. Anyways, we're getting dressed to get head to our dinner reservation. I didn't realize the weather was as brick as it is. So I'm gonna be cold. Cold and cute though. You can be cold if you're cute. All right, outfit check. This is, I think this is 
very old, it's a pretty little thing. But it was the only thing that I had that doesn't show off too much teeth. So see how it's like, I'm very covered and very sophisticated for once in my life. And the wire sale shoes, some simple hoops. I left my flat iron at home, so it's like super puffy, but I did the best I could. I did have a hot comb, so I was able to look somewhat decent. We are about to head downstairs and call our Uber. All right, we are headed to Dinden. We're trying to find this restaurant that is in a mall. Our reservation is in literally three minutes. But this mall is so freaking confusing. Like, how do you know what floor you're on? Is this second or third? Mm. Oh, look, there it is. Reviews of Bad Roman. Um, it was it was really good chat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say chat. It it's it's not a bad word. We just are, are irritated with that word. But everybody ate all their food, and I didn't even get to show my Hi. You know what he said when you left? He was like, "Is that the Modus Maven?" I said, "How do you even remember that term? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so ancient, but still nostalgic." Uh -huh. The original Modus. Like, how can I forget the Modus Maven? <laughs> but yes, the original Modus Maven in the building. Denise, we all had a great meal at the Bad Roman. So good. Sure did. We had a great waiter. I had the best meal, <laughs> and I shared with everyone. Then I did you? Because yeah. we don't remember that. That's so crazy. <laughs> What did you have again? I don't know, because oh, you didn't really? give me a bite. <laughs> I just saw the empty plate and knew it had to be good. I have to go to the bathroom because they're asleep. So, after dinner, my friend that I introduced y'all to, Denise, she lived like a 30 minutes away. So I went to spend an hour and a half with her at somewhere that was we didn't even know where we were going. We were just trying to pick somewhere that was near the hotel. I just got back and I'm about to take off my makeup, shower, all that good stuff. We're gonna wake up early so I can take them to go to all the stores they wanna go to because when we left the restaurant, everything was closed. So I know they're gonna wanna go everywhere tomorrow. I'm gonna put on my good walking shoes. I was sniffling because <laughs> I was talking to my friend Denise for a while, got a little deep, and um, now I'm all sniffly, but I should wake up feeling great. I'm not sick or anything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have breakfast, go walk, Hamilton at seven, which we just found out is literally right downstairs from our hotel room. So we don't have to worry about catching the Uber. We got more time, like I'm manifesting a perfect Saturday. Good morning. Yeah, it's giving misdiagnosis yet again. Just kidding with her. I'm talking about Nyla because she said she stopped drinking her ginger beer because it was causing her to sneeze. It makes me sneeze. And I said, let's see. But it's not happening now. Yeah. And you you was about to start telling everybody you was allergic to ginger. We had a whole round table discussion yesterday. Actually, I'm gonna let the people in the comments tell me if they've ever had this and then I'll drop it. She said she has a nut allergy, right? But it's only teacher, pea, teacher, what kind of nuts? Tree nuts. It's only tree nuts, but only whole tree nuts. If the tree nuts are chopped up and mixed with something else, she can eat it. That's what Not she said. Chopped, like processed. Peanut butter is processed. If the tree nuts are processed and mixed with other ingredients, She's not allergic to them, but if they're whole, she can't eat it. But the tree nuts in Nutella are processed, I thought. Yeah, I can eat Nutella, it just makes me itch a little bit. Okay, so if they're in something like Nutella, she'll just get itchy lips, but if they're whole, what happens? I be like, my own chart is <laughs> Then she's more itchy. But she can eat other nuts. Like Reese's Pieces, no, Snickers, no, I can't eat Snickers. Well, not Snickers, Reese's Pieces, peanut butter. 
So if you guys are familiar with this type of specific allergy, let me know. Because I was like, I thought if you're allergic to peanuts, you're allergic. Like, you can't eat no kind of peanut, no processed nut, no chopped nut, creamy nut, nothing. Nothing. Oh, that's good. You saw that? No. Okay. Yesterday, I had a brownie. She was like, I can't eat it because I'm allergic to nuts. And I was like, you ate all my Reese's cups. Like, she was like, oh, I can eat that type of nut. I was like, okay. And has this been diagnosed by a doctor? Do she said no. Do you want to test this theory? Out? I don't because then I'm going to have to take you to the hospital and then I'm going to have to pay for it. And I already got hospital bills on my own, baby. I'm still owing the doctor for my surgery. Yeah, I'm still in a little bit of doctor debt. Um, anyways, no sneezes, but... Good to know you're not allergic to ginger. We are dressed. I got this from Target when I was getting some stuff for the trip. And I was supposed to wear it with my little green dunks right here. But I wore those last night when I went to go talk to my friend and they was making my toenails hurt. I think my toenails is too long. And yeah, so I didn't wear those. Instead, I wore, I'm wearing my Balenciaga. Say what you want about Balenciaga, but baby, these are the only comfortable walking shoes I have besides Crocs. Like, they're too comfortable not to wear, so. Luckily, it does still match with the shirt. I got Yosh this shirt from Target, too, because she has these pink and white dunks she's wearing. And I was like, perfect. This child who told me before we left that she looked at the weather and only brought warm things. You said a bunch of sweaters, jackets. I have two jackets. Yeah. I'm wearing my Uggs. I'm just dressing all warm. Yet yeah, this is her outfit. Pants with the slits on the sides with the just exposed warm. thighs. This tiny t-shirt underneath. I and this thin it. little jean jacket. Baby, what type of warm were you thinking? Like Bahamas warm? This is not what you wear in the cold weather. And then I luckily brought Zara jacket because she didn't even bring one. Why am I ever And she said she had two jackets. When she said she had two jackets, I'm thinking they're jackets, not little jean, cutesy type jackets. I'm the only one who has like a real live jacket and I don't even have one for Nyla to wear. So I'm like, when we go shopping, you might want to be on the lookout for a hoodie because it is cold out here. And you're going to be cold tonight. What are you wearing tonight, Nyla? What are you wearing tonight? Please tell me he has sleeves. He doesn't have sleeves. You know <laughs> no, what? no, no, listen, listen. It's like this, right? It's a, it's a, it's a green, like, bodysuit type. And, no, but listen. And my jeans um, are going to, you know, I'm going to wear my jeans. And I'm going to wear this jacket, too. Because we're going to be inside. We're gonna be inside. But I thought you guys wanted to walk around after that. Okay, but like, my sister's gonna go inside. And then, worst case scenario, if I get another jacket, hoodie. This is why on vacation I like to pack for my child because they just don't be. They just don't be. What is this? I'm pointing to my brain. Thinking. And every vacation except for this one, I usually pack all Zara stuff. Underwear, socks, outfits, pajamas, all that stuff. I tried to give her a little bit more responsibility because she's a big one three. But I don't want that type of responsibility. It's giving, I'm not doing this your whole life. Like, what are you thinking? You don't want that type of responsibility. Baby, you gotta learn to pack a bag. Anyways, we're waiting for their dad. What a treat to meet us here. He leaves tonight, so he wants to put his luggage here. The good thing about that is he can take our picture, because I need a picture of all three of us. I didn't post nothing on your birthday. We're gonna go outside. They wanna go to a couple stores. We're gonna go a little shopping, get a little something, get a little this, get a little. I for, for what? You need a jacket. I have a jacket. That's my jacket, and you're not keeping that jacket. Okay, well why do I keep jackets when I have some at home? Cause you clearly don't like the ones at home, cause you never wear them. Well, I'm not gonna buy a $50 jacket. I'd rather freeze. I don't like children. I really don't. Nyla just went to her store. She won the Rochambeau, the store we went to first. She got something for her mom for Mother's Day. Now Zah wants to go to the Disney store, which I'm sure she's not going to buy anything. She's still just excited by all things Disney, and I love that for her. For a kid can be a kid. And there it is. Update. We walked around, we went to some shops. 
Nyla got something for her mother for Mother's Day. She's so nice. I know. I'm, if you're seeing this, mom, just so you know, I spent thirty dollars on you. Love you. Why are you gonna tell the price? That is so tacky. <laughs> Love you, mean it, hate you, kidding. Just kidding. But um, yeah. She wants to go see the 9-11 memorial. Yoshi's not too excited about it. She just wants to walk around and look at the stores. So hopefully. You know, why not walk around and see something I want to see? Like, come on, it's a win-win. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna try to take the subway, which hopefully we don't hopefully get lost. Hopefully it's not ghetto. Hopefully, hopefully it's not ghetto. it's not crazy stuff going on on the um, subway. Yeah, but yeah, very much. And it says, it doesn't really say how long it's gonna take to get there, but are we going the right way? Yeah, it says we're going the right way. Are you going, yeah? Downtown yeah. to South Perry. Chuck. I never wore no fake designer, baby. That's fake? I'd rather just not buy it. You need a new bag? I got that's you. fake? Yes, that's fake. Girl, why do you think it's on the street? <laughs> We're leaving the memorial. It's very quiet over here. I think people are just, you know, it's really, really sad. That's all I got to say, because... I don't want to cry on this beautiful Saturday, but rest in peace to all the lives lost. I'm glad the girls got to see it because they realized how large the space is, how close they were together. All the names around, it. there's no blank spaces. There's names on all these little black tiles. So just remember how blessed you are because a lot of people lost a lot of their loved ones. And it is yeah. like truly like very sad. It's extremely sad. Cause you know, just like seeing like the flowers and stuff that people put on like their relatives or friends or whatnot, like you know, just knowing people have family that died because of something like this, it's, it's crazy. It is. Yeah. We're gonna try to change the mood a little bit. We're gonna head back up to the train station, try to get a bite before the show because everyone is excited to see Hamilton. Yeah, it's very excited. And we're gonna play Hamilton all for the rest of the day yeah. so we can get in the <laughs> hamilton spirit okay do we have time to go into uh, pandora we do not have time to do anything except eat and change but we may after <clears throat> hamilton it just depends on how long the play is oh girl you can't afford pandora anyway you can look at home they got pandora they got, you got gum all over your mouth I know. by the way Chad, she want to be a window shopper so bad. All right, here's the pizza. What is this? It's like Everyone grab your selected slice. They don't know what they want to be. Get your slice. Yo, these are actually humongous. Dang. Girl, just do one at a time. You can grab oh, the other one later. You big back. Well, you said grab your selected slice. Your first slice is the New York pizza. Ready? One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Come on, oh, now. Okay. Go. Mm. What is it giving? What is it giving? I give my bus. It tastes like spaghetti. Okay. Yours? It tastes like cheese Burger pizza. Right? cheese pizza. No. All right. Well, I'm about to go wash my hands and eat my pizza. I have this one right here and this one right here. I don't want that. No thanks. Uh -huh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I don't know what they season this with, but it tastes like premium. Of the premiums or the pizzas. <laughs> 10 out of 10, we'll recommend. Mm -hmm. All right, we're heading to Hamilton. We can't take our cameras, obviously. But uh, the girlies are cute. The girlies are ready to go. The girlies have been listening to Hamilton this whole time in this room. These girlies better like this Hamilton show because it was not cheap. These girlies are going to stay up all night with me this time instead of going to bed at 11. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I need some confirmation. But anyways... Should be a fun night, girls. Judges? We're here, ladies. Yeah. These are our seats. Very nice. What are those seats for? Uh, really excited. Those are for people who want to the little They got some money. They got some money. Because even these seats right here were $300. What? Yeah. Per person? Up there were four. Yes, per person. Per person? Yeah. <laughs> My whole college fund. Say thank you to your mom. Thank, thank you to you. your mom. Your mom. Her mom thank her you. Oh. Literally. Please tell me why the bathroom line is three blocks away from the bathroom. We're like back in the theater. We were outside at the concession stand 
get to the bathroom. We had to warm my way all the way down. See that sign right there that says end of the line. Baby, we walked three miles. <laughs> I said, is the men's open? Right. There was a gender neutral bathroom. I was about to be like, excuse me. <laughs> this is crazy. And I really gotta go too. So I gotta just walk them out. Three hours later. Baby, we just got back from Hamilton, y'all. <sighs> Mind you, I told you this was Yoshi's birthday wish, right? So it was just gonna be me and her, but I was like, New York for two days, she gonna want her little girly. So I arranged with Nala's mom for Yoshi to come. And then I was never interested, I mean, for Nala to come. I was never interested in seeing Hamilton, I'ma just say that. I just wasn't interested, I didn't know nothing about it. I knew it was popular, but didn't know nothing about it, didn't know what it was about, and all I knew was that Yoshi played the soundtrack it was like the soundtrack of my nightmares. Like, it's all she would do. So I was actually kind of like a, uh, not for me type girl. Baby! First scene, first set, I was hooked. First scene, first set, I was hooked. I said, this is where I'm supposed to be. Right here, right now. So what we about to talk about, we about to go through our favorite characters very quickly because and this I'm- And musical, not the original, because then it's different. Yeah, because- <laughs> Um, and the 2024 May 11th musical. Because I don't know when y'all watching this. Hopefully I'm around in 2099. Anyways, I'm a big, big fan. So in my car now, look around, look around. I'm like, I'm there with it, with my fandom. So I'll start first with the girlies. My favorite characters, and Zara, you might need to help me with the names because I'm new to this. <laughs> not true to this, I will admit, but I'm new to this. Okay, so my first favorite character is <sighs> the Alexander because, baby, he was, <laughs> he was, do you want me? I was like, Alex, no one of the girlies are fighting over you, baby. <laughs> okay, and I don't even know if it's because my seat was that far and I don't know like up close if you're missing a side tooth or not. But Ooh. back where my seat was. <laughs> ah, hey, Alex. Okay, so Alex, this one might shock y'all. My second favorite was Jefferson. No, shock us. He was good. Oh, he was funny though. He was funny. He was funny. He was like my type of my cat, where it's like <laughs> Jefferson. My third, I don't know his name, but the king. Oh, the king was The king was iced out. Yeah. He was funny. He was like, I'm the man, y'all my subjects. And he didn't play nothing about that, but he had a little few jokes in there or whatever. Oh, okay. So those were my top three faves. Zara, the rules are specific. Top three, okay? And this top, this three. This, Nala, top three. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know, I have a lot of mix of things. Top well, three. Okay, 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 top three. Um. Jefferson, mm -hmm. Alexander. Is this in no particular order? Oh, um, I guess. Not, yeah, it's not really. And then, I like the Liza, this one. I feel like she ate. Like Liza! She ate work, work. I feel like, wait. Okay, let me, wait, I'm gonna wait. Hard. Eliza was good. I'm, I'm gonna wait till she say hers. Oh, but, you can't change what she said. No, I'm not gonna change. It's just I have an opinion, but I'm gonna wait. Okay, okay, but right now, it's Jefferson, Eliza, and Hamilton? Yeah. Okay. We no, we said three. Number one, Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Number two, Burr. And oh, Burr was a bop too. Was. Don't sleep on that. <laughs> he was the bad guy, but a good guy, if you feel number me. Number three, Angelica. Just okay. His wife? And it wasn't his wife, it was, a, it was his wife's sister. So he was married to Eliza. But he kind of. So his side boo was Angelica. Angelica. Got it. Yeah. But they never did anything. They just, they just had feelings towards each other. They didn't have, they didn't very trifling. Them. Very trifling. Your sister okay. cannot have feelings for your husband. That is okay. very trifling. That was fine. But we gotta say it's from the season was that. We don't know if we yeah, gotta talk yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit like, look around. Look around. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Cause we was up top in the middle, you know, I just do like this to see. Wait, his picture's in the playbill. Is it? Yeah. Oh God, I'm scared. Oh. No, don't ruin the fantasy. Don't ruin the fantasy, baby. <laughs> I don't want to see what he really looked like because I might be a sad. And right now, Hamilton was the man. Oh, like, 
Oh, and then what also happened, the bathroom line. Oh my God. Oh my God. You see how long the bathroom line is. But what I didn't show when we got halfway through, this Nigerian king, Nigerian king was like, you, you, you. Follow me, and we were like, "Wait a minute, sir. We've been right, right. like, we you kind of scared. Oh, do we get out? Do we get in? Where do we go?" He took us ah! out the line and took us to the family line that had <laughs> nobody in line. I was yes. like, "You That's knight in shining armor. Thank you. That's a Appreciate That's you." A he rescued us from the bathroom. Oh yeah, line, you don't so. want to see it, Ellery. He looked bad on the program. He looked bad on the program. Hey, I was don't show her. I'm gonna no, search him up. No, what about Bird? Bird? What about Bird? Bird? Bird's alright. Wait, wait. I'm gonna search him up on Instagram. We're gonna find a good. Look, I think that's Bird. That's Bird. Don't show her! I'm looking at Bird. No, she gonna look up. I mean, he's still a fine young man. Flash you. Young man. Flash you. Oh my god. <laughs> Hamilton up close looks like. The hold weekend on, on, who on, has Instagram. had weekend. the weekend who has had several binging weekends. Mm. Wait, let me see. Mm, so yeah. if you want to have a Hamilton, Dang, if you see. want to um, fantasize about Hamilton, oh, well, he's not my type in oh, in real life. My gosh. I mean, he's not bad looking. That's what, not what I'm gonna say. But up close, I would have probably ranked differently. But if you want to still like believe he's that guy sitting at least row T and back, but he did have swag though, right? Yeah, he was like hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. And you want to learn his pop, like, pop, right pop, there. pop, pop, he was hitting it, but um, yeah. but anyways, we're about to go outside. He's like, wait, he comes like Chris Brown in the cushion. Maybe don't like, no, just a little no, bit. Just a little no, bit. Just a little bit. no, no. She said this looks like Chris Brown. Just a little bit. Y'all, you can't put him on blast like this. Let me see. I know, but that's not Chris Brown, baby. Don't insult your father like that. What? Chris <laughs> Brown, maybe you're not. Just kidding. Inappropriate. Okay, man, All right, we're about to go outside. Walk around. Can you say opinions about what? Like, like the performance. So, one. Wait, I'm talking about I mean, no, I'm talking about this because I said I was going to wait till you were done. But, one, um, I mean, this in the nicest way possible. You better not be talking about Peggy. No, you better no, not talk no, about Peggy. No. The Skylar Sister song, when it came on, I was so ready. I was, oh, I was so ready. Tell me why they start, Angelica starts the song like this. Angelica. <laughs> Can you let me say my stuff, bro? <laughs> she can't help it, bro. So it goes, Angelica, and then Eliza, Eliza ain't down. Then you got Peggy. And Peggy! First of all, <laughs> let me let me explain what they mean, because they don't know true R&B, right? So Peggy had more of like a Sade voice. <laughs> Cause Peggy came as a, another character later, and when she started singing, I was like, Peggy got that. So when she said Peggy, they really meant Peggy. Like it wasn't like Peggy. It was Peggy. First of all, if you don't even know him, saying I'm just blabbing off at the mouth. All I gotta say, wrap it up. Ten out of ten would recommend. He gets his hook. Did I not just get her top three? No, I didn't get to say my favorite my performance critiques. She didn't say her performance critiques. Yes, she did. She just said that. You talked about Peggy. So I talked about someone. Yeah. Put it on me. You could <laughs> save it for your channel. Can also, can you talk about the fact that I have three layers on right now? I have my little bodysuit or whatever. I have my sweater and I have my hoodie on. Now. Says the girl who says she packed for the weather and clearly it's didn't. It's freezing cold. Yo, she just bought, well, I bought this $50 hoodie for Yoshi. She cannot ask me for anything until August of new school year. She bought uh, some scrunchies, three scrunchies for $20. Baby, I didn't buy those. She did, because no, I would like, the, They're pink, yellow, and blue. Blue represents Eliza, pink represents Angelica, and yellow represents Peggy. But let me show you what it looks like it represents Sheen. Like, they basically bought those off Sheen, stuck a Hamilton patch on it, and sold it to you for $20. You just got got. You just got got. You just got. But the hoodie, fifty dollars. That's to be expected with any Broadway musical. So, only reason why I got it because I get why she's a fan. So, cute. She's gonna wear it. it. It's so all good. black. You guys wear out of it because it's you very small. But like hoodies usually make me look like a big back. Like we're not saying big back anymore. All right, we're about to go outside for a little bit. We outside. She's, she doesn't really want to, but I said, you know, you can stay here and go to sleep. And what you say? She said no, so it's like, okay, well, you're gonna come with us. We're gonna walk around for a little bit. Um, very early, it's only 10, 15. Early. Last night in New York. Last night in New York, ladies! Hold on, did 
been doing this Hamilton since 2021, Chad. Okay. Then why does it say first audition tonight? Let's go. Hamilton. That's his audience. Oh, audience. You know what I meant to say? All right, we're getting back, ready to go to bed. It is past midnight. I have to put my flashlight on because I don't know what's going on with my camera. Check out is at 11, flight's at three. So as soon as we check out, we're heading to the air, air, airport. The airport. Tomorrow's Sunday. We had a great Saturday. Day in general. And New York, we will see you again. In the meantime, we gotta get some Z's. She wants to sleep on the couch because she's weird. Lame, lame, bro. Oh, lame. Lame, bro. Lame. She want to sleep on the couch. That's fine. I thought it was a pullout because they definitely told me it was a pullout, but we tried to pull it out and it did not pull out. So we got one of the little extra blankets and laid it down. All right, everybody ready to say goodnight? Night. Yosha's been acting stank since we got here. At least I said goodnight. At least you said goodnight. Wow, that's crazy. But she didn't say anything. So we're gonna end the night saying our favorite Hamilton quote. I'm gonna say the first quote that I knew after Yoshi sang the song 20,000 times in my house. This is the first one I learned that I'm gonna sing because I knew it when they did it at the play today. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You were never fine. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, look, one more time. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. That's mine. Uh, oh, you zooming in. I'm zo not not like up close and personal, but just up close. I can't even see you right now because it's very dark. So. Are you ready? Yeah. And when I be Thomas Jefferson, uh huh, I'm gonna tell him to include women in the sequel. It's actually I'm gonna compel him to include. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it PG, ladies. You want to give it one more go or are you good with that? Oh, um, wait. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, uh-huh, I'm going to compel him to include women in this. <laughs> okay. Work. <laughs> work, work. Okay. Nah. Sit but, down. Wait, bro. wait. Slash slide in your face because I can't see you. Something's wrong with my camera. Sit down, John, you fat motherfucker. Zara, what the hell? <laughs> no, first of all, see, you know what? You put a you put a Cali on me, like being so inappropriate, bro. Anyways, I did not know she was gonna say that, but anyways, we will see y'all in the morning. Nala, you laughed. You chuckled oh, a little. You so chuckled a little too hard. So Cause I don't even remember that line. Did she make that up? Y'all remember when he dropped the book from? Oh her? yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but he never said the whole word. He said, "You fat mother." That's all he did. I you, said, "You fat mother." That's that's <laughs> you said the word. Like, what are you talking about, Dara? Oh. You just said it again. You know what? Good night, y'all. Good morning. We are headed to the airport. We're bundled. The sun is not out today. It's not gloomy, but it's not. Yeah, it's gloomy. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to me. Why, thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. You guys shouldn't have. Sorry. All good. Um, headed to the airport. We flew in a JFK, so if you know, you know, LaGuardia would have been closer, but I've been having to pay $100 to get from the airport to here, which I'm not happy about. But we're about to leave now. It's gonna take, I think it's like 45 minutes to get there. I don't think there's much traffic, so we're trying to leave as soon as possible. And we'll chill in the lounge until it's time to go back to ATL, shawty. We should arrive around six o'clock. I hope you ladies had an amazing time. Thank you. Well, and uh, I know I did, I had fun. We'll be back. Hello, me again in my favorite beanie. I know you guys love seeing me in this beanie. Like you lips don't. on my head. Oh wow, okay. I was talking to you anyways. Um, so obviously Manic Monday, back to school, all things boring. I'm actually on my way down to take this kid to her end of the year drama club banquet. This is drama, it's not drama club, this is drama. Drama banquet. I'm not sure what the big difference is, but you know, I'm trying to work my patience. <laughs> um, she had to dress formal and I didn't know that was a thing until yesterday, so they're gonna have to take me. Sorry, will you be quiet? Shoot. 
they said it was just for the kids having to dress that way so baby i'm gonna be comfy per use i'm not getting no reward and then your teacher was like, if they don't come dressed appropriately, then they'll have to go to the costume department to find something that. appropriate to wear. I'm like, girl, if you don't relax, relax. But anyway, ooh, what? Did you see that? No. That bird. I, I think I ran it over. Oh, my. I hope it didn't mess up my car. <sighs> yeah, going to that is an hour and a half. Better start and end on time because, baby, it's a school night. And I'm tired of these clubs and banquets and programs keeping us up to the crack of dawn. Her last um, musical performance, they had us out to like 10 o'clock. It started at six. The show was supposed to be, supposed to be two hours, which meant eight o'clock. And they wanted to do Sarah, this impromptu speech for each of the seniors that were graduating. Baby, that should be a whole different night. And then they was holding the other kids. So Zara was on stage, held hostage. I couldn't even get her from the back. And I'm in the audience locked in because I can't get her off stage. Like, I was so irritated. Like, they was giving long monologue speeches for each of the seniors on a school night. She ain't even ate dinner yet. Anyways, I'm digressing. Um, yes, hopefully it's nice. She's been waiting for it for a minute. She put on a nice little fancy dress. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Good to be home. It's going to be busy next two weeks because school year is ending and... She has a lot of underscore your stuff, and yeah, I'm leaving in two weeks. Gotta get my life together. Leaving or where? I'm going with Auntie Tati and Uncle B. Where? Aruba. What the heck is Aruba? Somewhere. Oh, baby, right now. Quiet. 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 Arabian and Aruba is two different things. You sound ridiculous. <sighs> All right, I gotta go because my blood pressure is spiking. Y'all, the bird, the bird that I said I thought I hit on the, oh, it fell off. The bird that I thought I hit was stuck on the, in the front of my car. How did it just fall off like that? Is it alive? Oh, I'm sorry, little birdie. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Rest in peace, little birdie. I had to get the cone because I didn't want no bird DNA on my shoe. But luckily it fell off by itself, thank God. All right, we're just leaving the award ceremony. I know she got a lot of awards and one that really caught me off guard was that 4.0. Did you know you were getting that? No, I, didn't. I think it was a mistake. What? <laughs> Why? Because one of my friends had all A's and one B, but I had all A's and one C. Actually, no, I did it. I even have all A's. The math is my thing. Well, cumulative means something different though, right? What's that? I don't know. Well, listen, they wrote your name on the paper, so embrace that 4.0, baby, because they would know better than us. So congratulations on that. She did apply for the drama club next year, so she'll be doing that next year, which is great for me. More practices, love that. We're on our way home. It's 8.15. Once again, they love keeping us out past when they say because it's definitely supposed to be over at 7.30. But it is what it is. Gotta go home, shower, get ready for work tomorrow. And she has a chorus performance tomorrow too. <laughs> Love that for me. Uh, at 6.30, but I gotta get her to school at 5.30. Yeah, then she has guitar practice Wednesday and another musical on Thursday. So, you know, she's keeping me busy. Um, guess I can't be too upset. You know, they're all extracurricular great activities, but baby, I'm so glad school is almost over. Thank the Lord. Before she changed out of her outfit, one of our last vlogs not too long ago, she did a, a haul, and this was a dress that was supposed to be in the running for her birthday, but she, it worked out for her to wear here. Let me see. It is very cute, it's not too short. These are the shoes she wore to Andrea's wedding. Has a little illusion here that she has with her emerald. It'll also be like a cute little dressed to wear to dance, so you look beautiful, child. About to get this kitchen cleaned up, go to bed, get ready for tomorrow, and um, yeah. What's for dinner, what's for dinner, what's for dinner? Like, Jesus, when do kids make their own dinner? Like, that's what I wanna know, cause I'm, I don't wanna cook. Like, I ain't even hungry, but I gotta cook, she hungry. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog this week. Make sure you check out Yoshi's channel tomorrow. I will see y'all next week or every day if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or TikTok. Until then, love ya. Mwah.